let's discuss about the VLSI design flow that is basically how we basically manufacture any IC what are the design steps to manufacture any IC in VLSI domain to understand it let's take the example of any basic circuit let's say if you have to design a half adder circuit then for half adder what is the first step the first step is that you will first decide that in a half adder there will be two inputs and two outputs sum and carry right let's say input a and input b first of all we will see that what is a half adder then the second step what we will do that a truth table for the two inputs for all the conditions 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 accordingly what will be the sum and what will be the carry for this half adder so this is your second step right so that means in this step what we are doing you are describing the behavior of the circuit that means if 0 0 is the input sum is 0 carry is the 0 if any one is 1 then sum is 1 carry is 0 if both are 1 then what will happen 0 and carry is 1 right so <coughs> next step will be what based on this we will write the boolean expression for sum and boolean expression for carry based on the boolean expression obtained the next step will be to write what the next step will be to design the circuit of this half adder so the steps keeping these steps in mind let's see the design flow of VLSI design the first step when we have in number of inputs then we can't write the truth table and can't solve using the corner map what we use we use hardware description language for the same purpose for describing the behavior of the circuit first step what should be the first step in VLSI design flow first step in half enter was what that you are describing the inputs and output that means you were seeing the specification of the system so the first step in designing any system in VLSI domain is to find out the specification of the system then after describing the specification what is this the architecture the architecture is made for that system after finding the architecture of that system the next step is to describe the behavior of the system and you to describe the behavior in this case we did we use the truth table and for large number of inputs what we do for describing the behavior we use hardware description languages hdl for the same okay so using these we represent the behavior of the system and uh, that step is we call it we design the logic and basically what we are doing we are finding the logic so we do the logic design of the system after finding this logic what we do we obtain the gate level circuit so we say that after finding the logic we do the circuit design now after getting the circuit at transistor level we convert it into from the gate level we convert it into transistor level and from transistor level circuit we convert it into its layout domain physical domain onto which IC is required to be fabricated so what is the next step that after designing the circuit the next step is this 
layout design which is called as physical design physical design after getting this layout what is the next step we send it to the fabrication unit to the fabrication unit for processing to fabricate the chip so after this physical design next step is fabrication and after fabricating the chip the next step is the testing of that chip before sending it to the market for commercial purpose now one more thing here to describe is that at each and every stage for example in this half order when you wrote this truth table you can verify whether this truth table is correct or not when you have written this expression by putting the values for the expression for example sum is a b bar plus a bar b now in this expression you can write the value as a is 0 and b is 0 what will happen a is 0 0 into 1 that is 0 plus 1 into 0 is 0 that means you will get sum as 0 if both inputs are 0 that means you can verify this truth table you can verify this logic as well as you can apply the inputs here in the circuit and you can ver verify your circuit so important step is always to verify each and every stage before proceeding to the next stage that is what i want to say that when you draw the architecture you must verify your architecture first and then you should go to the next step same apply same rule we apply at each and every stage physical design that that then that layout must be verified first by putting the values of the inputs at different stage and checking whether we are getting the correct output or not if that is verified then you can send it to the fabrication unit again fabrication fabricated device will be tested again it will be verified and then we can send it for commercial purpose so finally we can say that we can we will have this csi design flow starting from system specification first of all architecture design called as functional design then from this functional design first of all we will verify this functional design as i told you that so let me put both the things here that system specification then architectural design verification of that architecture after verifying that we will proceed to the next step that means logic design okay right logic design is what logic design is this expression then from this boolean expression first we will again write the values of these inputs and we will verify whether this is correct or not that means this one that logic design logic verification after verifying our logic we will proceed to the next step that is circuit design in circuit design that means this one this step circuit we will again put the values for different variables and we will find out whether our circuit is verified it is working properly or not when circuit design is verified next step is physical design physical design means what the layout right then this layout is verified after verifying this layout next step is final step is fabrication and testing so this is finally your vlsi design flow that means the process of fabricating fabric process of designing fabricating manufacturing any ic any ic in vlsi domain this is the complete flow chart for the same the process steps starting from system specification to the fabrication of that chip and testing of the same okay thank you